morning guys i am getting ready because in about an hour and a half i'm off to go meet my grandma and my auntie well my great auntie but who says i'm off to go meet my great auntie <laughs> i technically don't have any aunts and uncles because my mum's an only child but i do have great aunties because she's my grandma's sister so yeah i'm off to go meet my grandma and my auntie for some lunch we also mentioned going back to at my grandma's place and going through a box of photographs that she has that obviously have quite a lot of me when I was younger and um, because Doug and I thought it would be quite a good idea to do a video looking through some old baby photos of him and me it just seems really relevant at the moment with our little bubba on the way I need to dry and straighten my hair now probably not going to have time to edit today's balloon which is annoying the John Lewis and Boots bits that I ordered at the beginning of the week um, are coming today so I'm hoping they come before I leave the house. Still waiting, what has it been, a month or something, <laughs> still waiting for Doug to put our brand new mirror onto our bedroom wall. Um, I'll just use this mirror to show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this dress that I bought yesterday. It's not maternity, it's just normal top shop. Fits quite well because obviously it's just that type of dress, but even at the front, it's not coming up too much, which is nice. It just looks like it is meant to be maternity. The one that I tried on in the shop yesterday was a size 6. It was so tight. So um, yeah, I, I thought I'd go for the 10. 25 minutes before I need to leave. My John Lewis and Boots stuff have turned up. And I've had a parcel from Amazon turn up as well. So the parcel from Amazon is just my breastfeeding bra thingy. It's basically a bando with two holes in the middle. <laughs> so it means that I can pump my milk without using my hand so I can multitask, have my milk pump in and do my makeup or reply to emails or just do something. That's it. That's basically what it looks like. Oh my goodness, so many parcels. Where do I start? You can see I've opened the Boots one already because there was a deodorant in there that I wanted to use today. First thing, and probably the thing I'm almost the most excited about, which is really sad, but it's a new bin. Only thing is, I ordered the one in almond so it's a cream color and then the second i ordered it i realized that i'd actually probably like it in just the all stainless steel only because if we go into the kitchen you'll see how many cream things we have so i have a cream kettle a cream toaster and within the next year it is my goal to save up for a smeg fridge and i want a cream smeg fridge so that would go over here when we get a new kettle though i won't get a cream kettle because i feel like it'll be too cream plus i don't want a cream smeg kettle because then it would just be like smeg everywhere which I, which, I, which I don't really want it's a bit a little bit too much but because we have so many cream things anyway at this time next year i hope to have a lovely cream fridge i feel like a cream bin is just going to be pushing it a little so we may end up going to john lewis this weekend and just exchanging it i will show you what else i got from john lewis in here Ooh! a changing mat cover to go with the changing mat that I bought, but I'm guessing that's in here. Two baby hooded towels, so they're towels with the hoods on. This is two fitted sheets for the Moses basket because the Moses basket came with bedding, but it didn't have a sheet on the mattress. Then in here, oh my goodness. We have one changing mat. We have a baby bath. I just got the most basic baby bath. It has a plug at the bottom here, so you can just drain the water out when you're done with it, rather than have to try and lift a whole bath of water and um, tip it out. And then, <laughs> try not to fall in. We had two rugs. I just wanted to see which colour I preferred. So we have the fluffy cream rug, which I was originally going to get. But then I saw that they had it in grey. And I thought, well, her room is very cream. I thought, why not get the greys? Just see what it looks like. 
if I don't like it I'll keep the cream and then I'll return the grey one right and from boots it's all the things like nappies so we have some nappies I stocked up on my Lizelle muslin cloths we have things like maternity pads and uh, more maternity pads gonna need a lot of those I got some disposable bags for nappies which we won't use that often it's just handy to have a couple of disposable um, nappy bags for when you're on the go so if say she needs to be changed when we're in the park or in the car um, it's somewhere to put a dirty nappy lots of cotton wool balls definitely gonna have to buy way more of these because we'll probably go through them a lot stocked up on water wipes don't plan on using them that often i'm going to try my best to just use water and cotton wool but these wipes are going to come in handy at some point even if we don't use them soon we've got them and they're going to last us a long time uh, more nappies got a smaller pack of nappies just to take to the hospital there should be enough in there there's 22 but at the end of the day someone can always come home grab some more nappies the hospital sells them as well and also i didn't want to go crazy on nappies just in case she is allergic to pampers um you never know she may end up reacting to them got some bamboo washcloths got one of these grow egg digital room thermometer thingies picked up one of these tommy tippy complete care nine baby essential baby care kit it's a really ickle kit which is great for traveling the main thing i really wanted was the thermometer the nose thingy <laughs> i don't know what they're called and the nail clippers they were the main things i really wanted but that's handy and it's all in one place more maternity pads down there some nipple cream and some nursing pads for leaky boobies gotta go my grandma's here and i don't know where my house keys are and i have to be able to lock my door where are my house keys? Oh, they're in the door. They're in the door. They're in the door. <laughs> Found them. They were in the door. All right, guys. I, all right guys what am i saying all right guys all right guys how you doing uh, just got home as you can tell this is a really attractive angle uh, as you can tell it's dark hence why i'm trying to struggle to put the lights on ended up being a much longer day than anticipated 10 o'clock now so i've been out the house for about nine hours so that means today's balloon isn't up let's sit somewhere let's sit somewhere why am i standing in the middle of my living room oh yes um what was i saying there's no vlog that's gone up today because i haven't had any chance to edit it that i need to get edited over tonight and tomorrow i think i'm just gonna chill for tonight but tomorrow morning i'll make sure i get up and edit that one thing we did at my grandma's was let me get my bag off dearie me one thing i did at my grandma's was gather some photographs of mainly me there's some of my mum that i really liked that i just wanted to take home but they're mainly photos of me because they're for the video that doug and i are going to do together where we look through some baby photos of each other so i'm not going to show you loads of photos now but i thought i'd show you a couple um just because i'm sure you guys would like to have a little look this one is hilarious <laughs> i'd learn how to undress myself so i would constantly undress myself oh you can see the camera reflection there we go can you see that oh god the cameras are reflecting in the hang on if i go like that and then it should there we go there's one picture can you see that <laughs> i look like such a menace and then oh, look at my mom i think she was probably i don't know 17 18 here this would have been what late 80s if, oh that's such a cute one of me and my daddy i don't want to show too many because obviously i want to do this video oh i don't actually i'm just going to show you some some of my mum so this is one this is my mum when we were on holiday in florida and i was five when we went so my mum would have been 26 i absolutely love this photo of my mum so i'm gonna um i don't know probably get that um photo copied before i give that back to my grandma i'll show you one from the the photo album there is a very consistent theme of dungarees and stripes <laughs> this is where i get my dungarees and stripes obsession from i'll show you another one of me and my mum in this photo my mum would have probably been uh i don't know how old do i look there a bit younger than one probably in that photo so my mum would have been what like 22 I wish I got more of my mum's jeans. I'm quite a half and half mix of my mum and my dad. That if you see my dad, which actually some of you have, there's photos of my dad in, 
here somewhere. But I, I really have my dad's jaw. Like, my mum has a lovely heart-shaped face and a really nice jaw. My jaw is a bit funny. One, because it's wonky, so it's a bit messed up. But two, I just don't have a particularly nice jaw, which is why, since I've put on weight, if I go like that, just look down, I have a double chin because my chin's not very big to begin with. I'm literally like 50-50, my mum and my dad, I think. But you guys have only really seen my dad as he's been older. But if you saw him when he was younger, and I'm trying to find a flipping photo, <laughs> if you saw him when he was younger, you would, um, you would totally get where I'm coming from. Was it in this pile, maybe? Am I being really stupid? Did I go past it? I'll show you this one even though I kind of wanted to save it for the other video. This is me and my dad. My dad's like, I don't know, two or three years older than my mum. So, I mean, I don't know, how old do I look there? Probably one and a half, one and a half or so. I've definitely got my dad's face shape a lot more than my mum's face shape. I cannot wait to do our little girl's hair like that. Little pineapple hair, little little sproggy thing. And what was so funny, because my hair has always been so thick, my mum would take the hair tie out and my hair would just stay there. There's actually a photo of me with my hair just stuck. This was in the kitchen that in the house that me and my mum lived in for about 15 years. Look at that hair. What a looker. My hair would just stay up like that. I'm so funny. That's all you guys are getting because I'm going to save it for another video. I should probably just call it a night for this vlog because all I'm going to do now is get changed, rub some lotion on my bump because it's really, really itchy. I'm going to have some ice cream and watch some TV. And then Doug should be home soon. He just went climbing um, and then he's going to come home. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!